heavyweight showdown between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Isaac Frost. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle. He's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles de Bronx Oliveira! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does belt. not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, strong punch there by Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Cross the 
strike attempt there is blocked. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Nice counter shot there. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Both fighters get up now. Beautiful kick. <laughs> Looking to land the right just out of range. Ball combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. Though. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Uppercut there blocked by Isaac Frost. Oliver doing the right things defensively. Ooh, big shot lands. How about that shin? Vera gets tattooed by that straight punch. Take down a tight fight, and it's good down now. So what do they say? If you try, try again. If if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Big call from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. Way to hide that leg. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper cut. Big left hook coming, it's better. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands through the middle. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Huge hook there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. He's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Punch over the top. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. That is a huge shot right there, DC. No, and he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got it. Seconds remain in round two. Swing and a miss with that punch by Frost Joe. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready, fight? Ready. Third round underway. And three minutes to go now in round number three. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. And they set him. Pretty strong jab there by Frost Joe. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Slips. Oh, nice strike landed there by Frost. Big head and kick. Both guys really throwing with a Thor. What a big pick for Ryan. Nice double leg, nice finish. And he landed the right hand there. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet now. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Vera gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Take down the lane. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Oh, he's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. in the mouth. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Isaac Frost. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Waning seconds here of round number three. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. He cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight.
All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Ooh, what a head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And oh, there's the double leg takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Oliveira. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Fighters back to their feet here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big... Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. They continue to exchange. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Frost. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land his beautiful punches to the head. Oh, the head kick lands. Straight right hand now, just another. for this. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. What a punch. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Not there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Finish. Knee to the body. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Frost gets the tie clinch here. Beautiful strike. That is how you scramble, folks. 
Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, big left. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Takedown defense holds up. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. his opponent by way of submission. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number five. For the winner, by submission, Charles the Bronx Arena! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission, and they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish.